remember that full-blown celiac disease affects a little less than 2% of Americans, but about 30 to 40% may actually be gluten sensitive. And that rate is really on a fairly steep rise. Um, and the fact is that these genetically engineered um, types of wheat uh, actually seem to be uh, producing more of this. This second study from Gastroenterology 2009, the Rubio Tapia study, those folks actually analyzed serum that was stored in the mid 20th century, so around 1950 to 1960. And they compared it to Americans from today. The Americans serum today is more than four times as likely to carry anti-gliadin antibodies, four times as likely. That just kind of blew me away.